check your travel documents. Make sure that you are not sailing in the middle of nowhere with a passport that's about to expire. In this episode, we take a bus to Nairobi to the South African Embassy and apply for a new passport for Moya. Passport mission complete. I head out for the day and enjoy some music beneath the baobabs. been sailing east coast of Africa for about 10 months now and we've hit a bit of a bump in the road. Moya's passport expires in six months or so. So we're in Kenya far from South Africa so what are our options? You need to have a passport that is valid for six months and more to enter a different country. So we're in a bit of a sticky situation at the moment. Um, so what are our options? Fly back to South Africa, which is quite costly. Then stand in the long hours of queue, which is frustrating. And then you kind of have to hang around and wait for it to arrive and you don't know when that's going to arrive. Or you get it done here. So I got hold of the SA Embassy in Nairobi, said yes, of course you can get it done here, sent us an email with all the requirements it needs to get done. So now all we need to do is get passport photos done, which you can do in town, and find a way to get there. I believe there's a bus that's overnight bus that runs every day. So we're going to go book our tickets and head to Nairobi about an eight, nine hour drive, um, spend the day there, hopefully get it all sorted and then head back that night and then we'll see. Alright, so this is the way to town and we're going to go get some passports photos taken. This is our usual trek to town, <laughs> trek, walk to town. We've got to get our bus tickets today. We've done Moya's passport photos, did that the other day, and I got all the documents that we need. Just got to make some photocopies of the birth certificate, and now bus ticket. So off to town. This is our our pathway, which is really cool. We got chickens and cows and goats up there so this is the way we go so let's go see if we can get to Nairobi in a few days and it's starting to rain already <laughs> okay let's go So basically, what I'm saying is, check your travel documents. Make sure 
that you are not sailing in the middle of nowhere with a passport that's about to expire and make sure that you got enough blank pages as well so wish us luck on our adventure to Nairobi which is going to be bloody cold I believe <laughs> so we're in the tropics shorts and vests and bikinis and everything and now I've got to haul out my jeans and jackets and jumpers I even packed a scarf just in case you guys ready to go ready as we'll ever be you've got warm clothes this is so stressful I don't know why are you stressed Moe? Yeah. It'll be like, okay. I feel like we're missing something. We're missing midnight, and she'll be okay though. Hey? Yeah. Put the water and stuff okay. on. Cover the windows so you don't get rain in there. I think that's all okay. right. He's coming up. Okay. Windows are closed. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's come in. Let's My hood is in your Yes. Okay. settled in <laughs> Well, we've arrived in Nairobi. Exhausted. I didn't get much sleep last night. And waiting for an Uber. Is he coming? Slow. He's coming. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> it's a very careful drive. How was your bus trip last night? Are you just smiling? <laughs> what? I didn't get to sleep a lot. It was uncomfortable. But uh, other than that, I was We had to wait about half an hour for the embassy to open. Why are you just sitting on the side here, Robin? How much else do you <laughs> South African High Commission Embassy in Nairobi I give 10 stars Yeah The guy who was there I would spoken to him before on the phone And he was there, he helped us, gave us all the forms And he even remembered me saying that we were in Khalifi And he's like, how's Khalifi? Where are you? Da, da, da. Look Teddy, oh it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant And we were literally done within an hour So and you can see I'm quite happy from my smile <laughs> and we're now walking down and we're now walking down the road to try and find a coffee shop uh, because we've been up most of the night um, yeah so we haven't had our coffee yet and Moya's tummy is rumbling so breakfast coffee and yeah and then we'll see how the rest of the day goes Um, before we took the bus back to Kalifi, yeah. we decided to go to Westgate Shopping Mall and do a little bit of shopping. And we treated ourselves to pizza and a movie. Robin? Yes? While we are waiting for the movie to start, hmm. tell me your experience of today. It was lovely. <laughs> no, it was good, eh? We were the first people at the concert this morning. There's no one else there other than the staff. And they were friendly and helpful, and they took dealt with us straight away. Got the documents done, made the payment, emailed the guy the proof of payment, 
painless. All done. He says, got everything sorted out, but no problem. All set, set, up, up, off you go. Enjoy Khalifi, and um, I'll call you when it's ready. It's very quick. Very pleasant experience. Well done, Charlotte, for organizing everything. Yeah, no worries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you feel about today? It was very quick. An hour, and we're out. It was really good. <laughs> With the passport mission complete, I head out for the day with this beautiful soul and listen to some amazing tunes beneath the baobabs. So, I'm going out today. I'm so stoked. We met Anne Jangle. She's a South African musician from Cape Town, living here in Kilifi, actually just over there. And we heard her play the other night and I was blown away. Oh my word. She's got such a powerful voice and just gave me goosebumps. Anyway. Okay, I digress. So we've hung out a few times and I'm going with her today to a place called The Twisted Fig. Uh, there's a live jam session and she's going to be playing there. Yeah, just have a really awesome day, I think. So I'm heading out by myself, <laughs> leaving Moya and Robin on the boat. I'm sure they'll be fine. Hey Robin, you'll be okay by yourself. Yeah, we'll be okay. Moya's like, what time are you coming home? I'm like, hmm, not sure. Anyway, so I'm just waiting here for the for the water taxi to come and take me over to the club. And then we're heading out. I'm very excited. So yeah, very cool. This is the way I'm walking up to Anne's place along the beach. This is her path to her house and I think I told you earlier, I'm so excited. This is actually really brilliant. I think it's really just like, I don't know, kind of a bit of girl time and just me time, you know? So, yeah. <sighs> Super excited. <laughs> oh, I could have this as a, a walkway to my place. How gorgeous is this? Hey? Come, we are late. It said one o'clock. It's one twenty already. Yawn, baby. <laughs> you know what? I know you probably do that often, mm -hmm. like right border borders. It's like so thrilling for me. <laughs> I'm just like I'm <laughs> loving it. I, I had a grin on my face all the way. Just a normal. Just so cool. Just another day at the office. I know. Don't go to church on Sundays. I don't go on my knees to pray.
at Twisted Pig and it is absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I can't even explain it. And um, yes, I am just doing a sound check at the moment. I look very wind blown because of the border border, right? <laughs> it was so awesome. Yeah, just doing a sound check and it's just. I don't even know what to say. That's it. I'm gonna sing, so it's gonna be loud because my voice has no limit. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, And I love being here and I'm talking so much right now because my battery on my guitar went a bit flat. So I'm stalling a little bit, but I'm gonna make it cool anyway. Anyway, my name is Anne Jangle. Thank you so much for being here. I'm talking so much. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys right now and tell you that I am having a great time. Yeah. The best day of my life. Ooh! 